bank on your cash value. Hello, my name is George Herrera. I am a resident of Southeast Florida and a passionate promoter of the infinite banking concept, a concept developed by Mr. Nelson Nash, author of the book Becoming Your Own Banker. If you view my past video, Banking and You, I presented there that there are tremendous advantages to setting up your personal banking system and use it for your own benefit. I also said that I was going to analyze different tools that, you, that we can use for banking and select the best one. What is banking? Wikipedia has a very complicated definition of banking. It has to do with government approval, also with capturing of deposits from other people and legality. It doesn't have to be that complicated. Since we're going to set up our personal banking system, then we can use a simple one. Banking is the capitalization, the creation of a pool of money that we can control and use to finance most of our needs and also to invest or to set up ventures that can develop good interest to pay, to pay back to ourselves. Based on this definition, then we can do banking with many tools. We could even do banking with money that we can put under our mattress. But I'm going to lay out a criteria of four points to select the best tool to do banking for ourselves. We need liquidity. We need to have access to our money with no restrictions and any time we need it. How good is a big pool of money if we don't have access to it? We need safety. We need to know that many years from now, this pool of money that we are trying to grow and maintain is still going to be there. Not that because any changes on any market or because somebody mismanaged it or somebody sues us, then this money disappears. We want also efficiency. We want to be able to grow our money with a good, healthy rate of return. And last but not least, we need to pay no interest, I mean no tax or very little tax at all in the growth of our money. With those requirements, then let's look at some possibilities. A checking account or a savings account. Those give us liquidity, but the performance is very slow. And it is on top of that is also taxed. An IRA or a 401k. Those, depending on which one we set up, could be less or more restricted. And on top of that, go and ask around to see if it's safe to any owners of IRAs or 401ks. What about a mutual fund? Well, first of all, the mutual fund is not managed by us and is tied to the market. So anytime we need to liquidate, then we don't know how much money we're getting because it depends on the performance of the market. A CD, a certificate of deposit, it is restricted because that's the only way that the bank is going to pay us a decent rate of return. A home equity line of credit. This tool is very controversial. Lots of people are going to contact me to argue that this is a very good tool to the banking with. They're going to say that it's the best one. But there's one thing. We are not managing our money. It's the bank's money. We have to set up a collateral to be able to use this money. So since it's not our money, the bank can change the rules of the, ga of the game anytime they want. And I don't want to be exposed to that. If you know of any other tool that could be good to do banking for ourselves or to, thank, to do banking for our own benefit, then contact me 
at www.infinitebanking.com and or www.bankonyourcashvalue.com and we can discuss that. I also said that I was going to provide you with the best tool to do banking for your own benefit. That is a dividend paying whole life insurance contract engineered to perform according to the infinite banking concept with a mutual life insurance company. This sounds very difficult to find, but that is why I'm telling the whole world about it. So you can contact me and learn how to do it and I can give you help to set it up. And it complies with all the four requirements that I propose. It gives us liquidity. We have access to our money anytime we want. It gives us safety. For more than a hundred years, the companies that we use have paid the interest and the dividend on the money that it is host with them. About efficiency. If we don't use the money, which is not the intent, we still receive a good return, three and a half, four percent interest plus dividend. So on their today's standard, this is a good healthy rate of return. But since the intent is to use it to finance our needs or investments, then we have total control of it and we can increase this rate of return if we find good investments or depending of as many needs that we finance at the same time, we can increase this rate of return. And tax advantages, well, insurance contracts have enjoyed preferential tax treatment for many years. Even if this changes, the tool still offers us too many benefits not to qualify it as the best tool to do banking for our own benefit. And I didn't mention that, but for the rest of our lives, this tool will give us insurance coverage on our lives. Can you find a tool that can give you all those benefits? Well, if you find it, reach me at www.infinitebanking.com and or www.bank on your cash value. Please reach me and I can help you setting up your personal banking system.